Hello everyone and welcome to another Wednesday drawing session with me, Frank Cho. There is my trusty Pentel mechanical pencil with 0 0.7 HP lead and my kneaded eraser. And here's my favorite paper to draw on, Stratmore bristle board, 300 series with vellum surface. Today we are going to draw X23. So Laura Kenny is X23. Um, I don't know too much about the character. Uh, I pretty much at that point stopped collecting comics when she came, uh, when she was created. So doing a little research, she is essentially uh, Wolverine's daughter. In the beginning, she was, um, she was uh, written as a clone of Wolverine but later they changed it to where she was a biological daughter of Wolverine. So like her dad, she has healing factor and retractable claws. Uh, but unlike Wolverine, her, she has um, two claws on each hand, uh, unlike Wolverine who has three. So today I wanted to draw her in action. I just didn't want to have her just standing around looking tough. I just wanted, I wanted to draw her in action. So I actually had this pose in mind where she is kind of like leaping over a bunch of ninjas uh, during a mid-battle scene. So there's this shot that I had in mind. Um, it's a profile shot uh, where she's kind of like jumping over a bunch of nin ninja. So... Uh, like all my drawing, I start with the head first. So once I have the head, then I like to work my way down the body. So there I am just figuring out the, the collarbone, the trapezius and the deltoid. As you can see, I, I pretty much jump straight at it and uh, jump jump right into it. Um, and people ask me, well, how do you know the anatomy? I mean, once you know the anatomy, it, it, everything kind of like makes sense where, where how everything uh, will look and, and, and is shaped. So there I am drawing the, the leg. And the hips. Drawing the arm. So I'm one I want her arm to be. Uh, I want her arm to be cocked back, uh, ready to strike. And there's the claws. So there I have it, just kind of the general shape. And then there I am drawing the hair. Now the hair. You should kind of like when you draw hair. You should kind of like think of it as an overall, uh, like a mass. Don't worry about the individual strands of hair. Just think of it as like a big giant mass that you can kind of like uh, pull and uh, and push around until you get this uh, shape that will kind of help with the composition. I am drawing, roughly drawing in the ninja as he's getting a knee in the face. So I had the X23 uh, in a leaping pose. For the ninjas, I was, I'm just, right here, I'm just winging it. I'm just kind of like figuring out what looks best. So with the second inch, I wanted him holding a, a sore. And so I, I'm just right that point. I'm just kind of filling in the space is how it looks. And I didn't like it. So um, I decided to like uh, redraw it, kind of reposition the head.
Yeah, so this pose is a lot better. Uh, the Him holding the sword is kind of directed toward uh, X-23. So the most important figure is X-23. So uh, I try to have the uh, the readers, the viewers, I focus on her by uh, by having the ninja sword pointing toward her and have the arms kind of like radiate outward. So they're all kind of pointing toward her, which is the important uh, figure in the drawing. There's the profile. And the shoulders. So when you're drawing a woman's arm, uh, you want to have a nice taper to them. Uh, from uh, you don't want to draw them too thick, but also you don't want to draw them too skinny. You want to have a nice uh, balance of a uh, uh, of muscle and uh, and there's a certain slenderness to it. A nice that kind of like tapers into a point. So when I'm drawing the body, uh, the female body, I, I basically just make sure all the uh, anatomy is correct before I, I add uh, the, the, the breasts and, and all the other uh, feminine uh, attributes. So that arm is cocked back. So you want to be mindful of how the, the arm is bent. And uh, and how her uh, hand will be rotated. So this is what I like to do. I like to really like go in and draw everything and then lightly erase it, which erases all the stray marks and all that. And I go back in and kind of like uh, smooth things out, kind of reinforce it, get rid of all the hesitation uh, pencil lines and just have like a really clean outline. And I said before, numerous times, you know, this is the, the pencil stage. It's a fun stage, so you should worry about erasing. Uh, if you make a mistake, uh, just erase it. At this stage is perfect for erasing and all that. So there I am drawing her chest. So there are several costumes that uh, X-23 had, uh, actually multiple variation of the costumes. So I decided to go with uh, the one that I remember, um, 
when she first appeared. Uh, where she had this kind of like a, uh, sort of like a bikini top. Like a leather bikini top and uh, black leather pants. And I think that was the, the classic uh, costume that a lot of people remember. I'm not a big fan of her current costume where she basically dressed up as Wolverine. Um, well, I'm not a big fan of just that whole gender swap thing. I, mean, I think, you know, if you're going to create a, um, a new character, they shouldn't... They shouldn't just change gender. I think just that's just like s bad writing, just weak, lazy writing. They should give her a completely different costume, uh, completely different from Wolverine, and so that she could be her own unique character, not a not a like a variation, you know, like a like a rehash uh, of an established character. So she was apparently uh, like an assassin, a hitman that she worked for the a secret group called the Faculty. Seems like a lot of these um, rough and tough, uh, borderline psychopath, uh, psychotic uh, superheroes seem to always. Uh, Work for some secret uh, government uh, as a hitman. She has, she has that little tight leather pants. I'm just like rough, roughly uh, darkening in because her leather pants was just uh, she wears a black leather pants so just give it some tone some color to it and she had these uh, armbands in her forearm now I wasn't too sure about her uh, her hand if I recall, I think she was wearing gloves or she was wearing like a like kind of like a Michael Jackson glove with the fingers missing, finger portions missing. So drawing the knee. Drawing the lateral view of the quad. And uh, here I am adding the, uh, the shading to her, uh, her lower legs. As you can see, I like to jump around a lot. I mean, again, there is no right or wrong way to draw. Ultimately, I mean, there's no right or wrong way to draw or paint or anything like that. Ultimately, it's the, it's the final image that counts. More shading. Kind of darkening everything in.
So when you're drawing a black costume, uh, make sure the edges are black uh, and the, the middle portion where the highlights are, you want to make that uh, make it light. So that kind of give it the, the, the roundness. I'm just adding some of the, 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 the fabric where, where, the, where her clothes are being pulled and pushed, uh, the, the, the fabric folds. And the ears. I actually enjoy drawing hair. Hair is so, uh, it's kind of funny. I actually enjoy like the fabric folds, the drapery and the hair and all that is, um, I don't know, there, there, there's, there, there's certain, they're kind of chaotic, but at the same time, there is a form and there's a, there, there's a form and pattern to it if you do it right. Like I said, this ninja design is um, originally from Frank Miller's uh, Wolverine uh, miniseries. Uh, I actually really love how he designed the ninjas. Just a just like a baggy hood over their head, and everything. All their uniform is very baggy. Um, so that was like Frank Miller. How how Frank Miller. Uh, handled the ninja the hand ninjas always stuck with me as a kid and uh and still st still uh i still use his uh design whenever i draw ninjas because it's just a fun design that uh he thought of So I'm just winging it here. <laughs> I am just having fun, just just winging it, you know. There's, so he, the guy get kneed in the face. So you have the that saliva and blood just 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 flying out. Yeah, I actually enjoy drawing these ninjas. I've always had. Ever since I was a little kid, I mean, uh, you can blame uh, um, Frank Miller. I mean, I grew up in the 80s, so like during the 80s, there's a lot of that ninja craze. You have the American Ninja, um, you got tons of ninja movies, really bad ninja movies, but, you know, they're all fun. And um, I just remember the scene from uh, Wolverine, uh, Frank Miller's Wolverine, where... Uh, um, he looks out the window, uh, and they're just, <laughs> all these arrows are just flying toward them, and, uh, and then the whole rooftop is covered by the, the ninjas, by the hand ninjas, man, I thought that was the coolest thing ever, I mean, you know, like, what do you know, I mean, you're just a little kid, <laughs> but just that, just that whole scene, I thought it was just, just really so over the top, I, I, I just, just loved it. So there I am just drawing the phone. They have 
have that armband in the forearm. Again, if you're paying attention, the, the knife, the sword is kind of like uh, pointed toward her so that the eye, it, it kind of like uh, guide, guide the, it guides the, uh, the reader's uh, eye toward uh, X-23. So when so so the ninja have these baggy, uh, uniform the hand ninja, uh, so uh you just you just have fun you just like kind of you know put all kinds of line to uh, to mimic the uh, the the fabric folds, and they have these like almost like a sash around their belt you know. Again, this is just sketch. You just, you just have fun with it. I mean, not the, don't be afraid to make mistakes. If you do make a mistake, just erase it. So adding the, the shadow. So that was the hand that um, the ninja was getting kicked in the face. But uh, I realized that that hand would have been covered by the uh, her other legs, her other leg. So I decided to erase it. Yeah, so as I was drawing uh, her leg, I realized it'd be cool if I could put the hand right there, the, the, the ninja's other hand. Because he was trying to block it, but instead uh, her knee, she kind of kneed that hand uh, toward him. And I decide to draw a, a sigh. Again, that's that that sigh is kind of like uh, is that am I pronouncing it right? S a i sigh. So the that ninja weapon is pointing toward her. So you see, so all everything's kind of pointing toward her, kind of like guiding the eye toward the main figure. X-23. Just darkening the lines here. I'm 
just having a blast at this point. Every time I draw ninja, it's, it's always fun, you know. Uh, after all, I'm like, I'm a child of the 80s. <laughs> so more little blood splatter. And then also, as I was drawing her leg, I, uh, kind of darkening everything in, I kind of had a, like, a like, like a really cool idea. Uh, you know, I, I decided to, um, uh, there am I fixing the hair, you know, just adding more highlights and all that. Just erasing out the graphite to give it the extra highlight and, you know, kind of like give this strand of hair. More blood. So as I was drawing um, those blood, I have an epiphany. It'd be cool if uh, she kicks the the guy's other hand holding the the sigh, and he accidentally uh, stabbed himself with it. I thought that was a kind of a neat idea, a neat visual idea. So like so when you're sketching stuff like that, you know, you you get you just have an a happy accident or like a like a really cool idea would pop up in your head, you know. So how cool is that, you know, where she kind of like uh kicks the guy sore into him. <laughs> The guy who does really great blood, like all these like these tons of blood, is uh, Ryan Otley on it, Invincible. I mean, like his his blood splatters were just absolutely top notch, and I would always, I always would look at it uh, to see how he how he does it. It's just absolutely fascinating, and also a great guy. Not not only is a great guy, not only is Ryan a great guy, he's actually an excellent artist. So there I am just, at this point, I'm just going around darkening all the outlines. Just getting rid of stray marks. Sorry, I'm kind of looking back, searching for if anything's missing. So I noticed I wasn't too happy with her forehead. I thought it was a little bit too, uh, it was too manly. Uh, for a woman's forehead, you want, you want her forehead to be more, uh, more uh, vertical. Guys' forehead tend to be more slanted. So just, that's just, just a quick fix. So, you know, just, just fixing that, it made their profile look more feminine. Just darkening the lines and all that. Yeah, so there I am just
just darkening night, darkening the outlines and just having fun. Adding more blood. And I think that's it. I think this turned out uh this turned out okay. So there it is. X twenty three fighting ninjas. <laughs>